Hi, welcome to the uh, tutorial now. And uh, now I'll be covering one of the most powerful feature of Metastock. It's what we call the Explorer. Basically, it's what we call a technical stock filter or technical stock screener. Now, uh, technical is different from the fundamental side in the sense that it look at the reaction of the price, volume, and couple of derivation from that. Whereas the fundamental stock scanner that I have on this website, Traders Truth Review, are fundamental based. But more about the Metastock Explorer. Now, the Metastock Explorer, basically, uh, in our course, we do teach is the Tawa Trading Above Volume Average. It simply look at the uh, stocks that, uh, in our opinion, will scan each of the stocks that we have in the KLSC, plus loan stocks, uh, Warren stocks, up to about 1,600 over, and look for those that is showing sign of volume accumulation. That's what we call TAVA trading above volume uh, average. Now, in this is one of the most powerful features and this is why uh, you only get in Metastock and not with any of those uh, free charting tools that you have it on the broker houses or provided by the securities houses. So this is the one which is proprietary to, to myself and the courses that we teach. Now, if you look here, you can see this is the, what does this look like? This is actually a binoculars or you can go to tools, Click on it, you can see the Explorer. Of course, uh, in, in Mana Stocks, if you have it, they also have system tester options and expert advisor. These are beyond uh, the, the scope that this tutorial, but we want to just focus on the Explorer. There are many things in, in Mana Stocks. You can actually try it and spend weeks and perhaps months playing with it. But at the end of the day, if you don't make money, you have no one to blame except yourself because the whole point of Mana Stock is to make money and, and keep it simple so you have more time to spend on other matters, uh, which is more important to you. Okay, so the uh, the Explorer here, we can click on that and you can see in my Explorer, I for those who came to our, our main course and these, uh, you will get more of the uh, advanced filter here. That, that's the thing that we actually teach and spend a bit more time on here. But for the foundation, I will show you today is called Foundation Tawa. Uh, I believe there you go. This one in here, Foundation Tawa. You could see uh, edited. This is the formula that we have. Uh, it will scan through uh, the display close column okay so much for that I just cancel that one so what we do is we will explore that meanings we would want to scan each and every one of those things now we can see now remember the key part you must know where your inner data are uh, residing that's like you know you go into your house you must know where your you know your clothes are, are, are kept so it's just basically uh, housekeeping only so you in our case it's kept in uh, MS remember we talk about the KLSC 3 this is where all the stocks are listed from A to Z and when you click on that okay you click add uh, pay attention here okay you could see we could have a folder uh, called C MS stand for Metastock slash KLSC3, you also have the listed 1,685 stocks in here. You could also add uh, for Singapore, for, for instance, you can add that in. That you see now, this has grown to two folders been currently added, but you have 2,629. So, of course, we want to keep it simple. Just it, it, I suggest you do is run your KLSC first. When you finish, you get your results out, all the stocks you want to, then you run your SGX. Don't complicate things. Uh, keep it simple. Just just remove that one and we just focus on the KLSC. And what it does, it will filter each and every one of these uh, stocks, 1,685, with the criteria, meaning it would scan through all and each one of the stocks looking for volume uh, currently being accumulated, looking for sign of accumulation by smart money. Okay, we'll click OK. There you go, uh, 1,685. You'll notice uh, almost uh, a majority of the stocks, about 20%, uh, is only accepted. Okay, it depends uh, the period during the time. Uh, at a time where the market is very bearish, I can tell you that you cannot find anything at all. I still remember when we run the workshop, uh, some of my user called me, hey Martin, is something wrong with your foundation tower? I couldn't find any stock. I said, then I said, yes, because there's nothing to buy, you know. It's a very a bear market in there. So we run our reports here and this is uh, the, the part that you'll see, the securities here, you can click on the volume. Right. Generally, what I normally do, I suggest you do, you can actually print out a soft copy. In this case, I will print out to a Primo PDF, which you can actually download it, keeping a soft copy. Let me just show you how I do that. It's coming up. Print. Okay. Uh, this will be under download. Okay. Print. Uh, I'll just overwrite it. 
There you go. So that's very quick depending on the speed. So you'll notice this foundation tile. Now remember, the data that you have must be current. Now the data that I have was uh, backdated about three to four days ago. So when you run your data, is you're running it back. What I suggest you do is to uh, run the end of day update. Make sure your data are up to date. Let's, for example, if today is a Tuesday, make sure your data are updated to Monday. And you generally want to run it over weekend. If you're hardworking, you run it every day. So that's a matter of, of a flavor of when you want to do it. Now, remember, this one is a bit tough. It's not sorted at all. So this is by, you know, uh, no. So I don't want this because I'm going to make one that is sorted by, by uh, price, which helps me to do my stock selection in here. You can see uh, the most expensive or the highest figure will be on top. I'll reprint this again. Uh, print Primo PDF. There you go. It's going to come up. And you can actually go to download uh, dot com to actually overrides it and, and get this is actually absolutely free now you can see this whole list in here now generally what we will look at if you are one of those want to avoid the penny stocks uh, buy those anything that's above two ringgit that would be the best uh, all right so it's this is like you know you go to a supermarket you know I want to look for a particular sector and a particular price this is where you can you can do it now there's whole list of things in here you can do and that's what we do for uh, running the Explorer of course each of these stocks will have its own characteristic. This is where uh, the skills that you learn from our courses will help you to pick the right stock. Okay, so that's a separate tutorial and a separate training that we actually teach you. But if you're looking at this, it's a full list that you have, and uh, you can uh, what you can do. Let's say we can look at post, click on post, open chart, and it comes up. Okay, so example, this is a nice one. Let me just switch that off for you. Okay, I'll delete that off. Then you can see uh, definitely volumes have been coming in in here. You can see that's what volume here. Uh, ex uh, this is a five-day moving average volume. You can see uh, the point that the volume exceeded. That's why volume is in. And post is a really a good stock been uh, currently been hogged by a lot of the foreign funds. So that concludes the uh, running the Meta Stock Explorer. And thank you for listening.